uh, the CAP, the Common Agricultural Policy. It's one of the European Union's oldest policies, and it was originally there to try and stimulate food production, support incomes for farmers. That's back in the late 1950s. It evolved. It's changed massively with major reforms in 92 and 2005. What it does now is it provides support for farmers' incomes through direct payments, single payment as is, basic payment as will be, increasingly a focus, but probably across all Europe really still a small focus on agri-environment schemes and other rural development measures, and a certain amount of management of markets. So that's why there have been things like milk quotas, why it's beginning to look at contracts between farmers and processors, uh, and all that comes together under the umbrella of the common agricultural policy. It has been more common. Where we are now heading is a world of many exemptions and options, so it will look a lot less common in future. I think really the absolutely key point I probably tried to put across is that while these changes in the main may seem to take effect in May 2015, really they drive decisions and influence planning now as people think about their cropping or about the land occupation arrangements for tenancies and other agreements that they have to enter into, uh, because those all will bear on 2015 and later. Uh, the next issues that build from that are that we are doing that while not knowing what the actual rules are. We have a political package, we've got, if you like, heads of terms, but we don't even have the main regulations, let alone the detail that people need to make actual decisions, and indeed that governments need to take actual decisions. We're all, to an extent, working in the dark. I think if you're an arable farmer, you want to be thinking quite carefully about your crop diversification so that you meet these new rules as we understand them better. We hope to understand them more fully by, say, next Easter. And of course, seed being ordered later next spring, the autumn 14 planting will be the crop diversification for May 2015. But it's also thinking about the land occupation arrangements. Do I want somebody to be the tenant of land, to be the contractor of land, to be a licensee on land? Each of those options give you different answers for what the rights to entitlements will be, but also for who will qualify for the payment. And we, will, we are expecting that next year only one person will be able to claim all the CAP payments, agro-environment as well as single payment. And so it's a question of deciding in those situations who that person should be and then what agreements should be. So it's thinking about taking land or how I manage land that I have in hand where somebody else is delivering the farming. I think the immediate risk in England is one of finding that you are in a very difficult position under an agro-environment scheme. That is where the conflicts within the proposals really lie for England. Much else in England may then simply roll forward, though we're waiting for decisions from DEFRA on that. When you come to look at what might be the position in Wales or Scotland or, or, or Northern Ireland, then issues about the allocation of entitlements are ones that could come seriously unstuck if you haven't thought about it. You could find you've seriously shortchanged your own position without thinking ahead. And at that point, um, the issues, particularly in Wales, over the aban that abandonment of dual use, that you can no longer have two claimants on one piece of land, um, could lead to serious complications for people who are involved in that. Well, at one level, because it's something of the order of £80 and more an acre of income for the industry that we're all servicing. At another level, because it is such a complex rule book, which businesses can use to their advantage or ignore to their disadvantage, that the level of advice services and of just of intelligent management is critical. And if an institution like Harper Adams isn't looking at this, then that would be the worst for the industry.